I'm in one of the busiest streets of Lahore today and you can hear a lot of noises behind me. But not now. And this is being done with the power of AI. Let's do another test. I'm driving, there's AC running and there's a humming in the car as well. Um, so this is how it sounds before it and this is how it sounds after it. Uh, I hope it sounds good because I'm not going to know until I edit this video. But I'm pretty sure it's going to do an amazing job. And I'm talking about Enhanced Speech by Adobe Podcast. It's a free tool that lets you clean out your audio in a magical way. Now, there is voice isolation there in DaVinci Resolve. But one, it is only in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And two, it's not as good as Adobe Podcast. Especially when it comes to echo in the audio or if the microphone is too far away or when it is just about the leveling of the audio. So Adobe Podcast does all of these things for you while cleaning the audio, making it sound as if it was recorded in a studio environment. In this video, I'm going to show you my preferred ways and workflows of using this tool. I'm also going to share with you some of the problems that might come in while you're using this tool. This is a project that is already edited. There are some places where I'm speaking things to the camera. Uh, there's music going on and there is some sound effects. Now I want to clean out these places where I'm speaking to the camera and let me show you how bad they are. Not always about, you know, learning. At that point, I was really scared. I was... So you see, it's really bad. There's a lot of wind noise behind it and it's not clear at all. So we wanted to make it clear. Um, the reason for it not being clear was at that time we forgot our microphone. And this was all recorded on the main microphone on the camera. Okay, then we have this clip. Sounds simple, right? But there's a lot more to this than you think. It's clear, it's much better, but there are sounds of the footsteps and some things that are disturbing. So we also want to clear this. And you see the audio volumes on both of these audio levels are different. Uh, so Adobe Podcast is also going to help us get good audio levels on all of them. This audio cleaning step is something that you should be doing towards the end of your videos. Now let me take you to Adobe Podcast website. Here's the official website of Adobe Podcast and this is where you have to go. Enhanced speech. If you already have an Adobe account, you can sign into that. If you don't have it, you can just sign up with Google or any other email. Now this is where you drag and drop your audio files. These are the things that you can do for free. You can upload audio files only. You can do a maximum duration of an audio file up to 30 minutes and you can do 500 megabytes uh, maximum file size, which is way too much for, uh, for an audio. Audio files are normally very small. Then you have a one hour daily limit of uh, enhancing your speech. The only thing that I like about the premium uh, plan is that you can adjust the strength of your noise reduction. With a free version, you get 100% of the noise reduction. A disclaimer over here is that it's not a sponsored with your by Adobe. I recently came to know about this tool, although it has been launched from a very long time, but I genuinely think it's an amazing tool and it just opens up a lot of possibilities for content creators. Let's just disable all of these, this music and the sound effects, disable them, select them, bring them into the bottom layer. By the way, you can do that by holding option and the down arrow key. Let's put in an endpoint at the start. Let's put in an out point at the end. We have made this space so that we can replace the enhanced audio over here. Now let's go to deliver page over here. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a place to save. Let's put it in our same uh, projects folder. And now we just need to turn off the export video option from here. Uncheck this, go into audio and make sure audio is checked. Now the format of the audio. You have two formats. One of them is WAV and one of them is MP3. These are the two formats for audio that you can choose and upload on Adobe Podcast. WAV is a relatively bigger file format and it has more quality. MP3 is a format that gives you smaller file sizes. So if you have a very long project, then you should be going for MP3, considering the upload limit that you have in Adobe Podcast. And if you have a project smaller than 10 minutes, I suppose, then you can go for a WAV. I'm just quickly going to go for MP3. Now let's select Add to Render Queue. Select this, render all. All right, let's go and upload this to enhance speech. Choose well. Perfect. We'll have to wait a little while 
and I'll fast forward the video from here for you. All right, so our audio is ready. Let's listen to it. It's not always about, you know, learning. At that point, I was really scared. I was scared of learning. I was scared of falling into problems. But little did I know that this is amazing. So let's download it. Let's bring it back in here. Let's put it just exactly underneath it. But most of the times the problem that I face is that it, sh it just gives me one frame extra in the audio. So let's play. It's not always about, you know, learning. At that point, I was really scared. Our audio is a little out of sync. So what I normally do is that I just go one frame backwards and I just drag it like this. Let's try to play it now. It's not always about, you know, learning. At that point, I was really scared. All right, once this is done, uh, it sounds correct now. Just close this and it is in sync with other clips. It's simple, right? But there's a lot more to this than you think. All right. Once this is done, what we can now do is that we can disable all of these uh, audios. Now, one other problem that comes in with this is that it just normally shows you one single channel. Now, if I play it now, it's not always about, you know, learning. You can see it's just showing it in the left channel and we need to have it coming from both the channels. This is a common thing that happens with files downloaded from Adobe Podcast. So there's a simple fix. Right click on the audio, clip attributes, go into audio and make sure it is turned from ono to stereo so that you can have it from both the channels and then just press ok and split it's not always about you know learning at that point i was it is so much clear now i hope you like the video consider subscribing drop a comment down below and i will see you in the next video